Well, hello there. I've come to the weir at uh, Padet. I, I enjoy coming here because I like to see the, the guys fishing, this guy down here. <sighs> if you take some time to look what he's doing, he's got a line in the water from uh, this pier out here all the way over to the far side there. And in his mouth, he has got uh, a line. He's got some uh, extra cord underneath his arm. Uh, and he's also got a net with small fry in it, with little fish. And he's baiting hooks. And then he's dropping hooks where he's leaving the, 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 the floats there in the water. And he's dropping the, uh, or letting the, the baits fall into the water on the end of hooks hoping to catch bigger fish, I guess. Lovely to see the, the birds that are nesting up in the, in the eaves of these arches. Oh, away from the water, you can actually hear them a bit more, and they're twittering as they come in and out. It's really lovely to see them skimming across the water as well, picking up the flies. If they can hold the camera steady enough, you might be able to see them ducking in and out of their nests. We've had a lot of rain these last, uh, this last week. Uh, nightly rain has been fairly heavy. Uh, behind my uh, home, the fields are now flooded. They've all been ploughed, and the, the water level is now filling all the paddies. Well, the clouds are building, it's only uh, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. So uh, it's got a bit of a, a way to go before we get the afternoon uh, heavy cloud build up and we will see more rain this afternoon and this evening. So uh, the water here, obviously being kept at the level it is, in lieu of the fact that there will be more. Uh, otherwise, uh, if they keep it back, then upstream will likely flood and then that will affect the, the city more. So uh, it's being kept under control by the looks of it right now. I'm going to take you downstream a bit and see how the water's affecting the people down there. Well, I've come down a little bit further down the river to uh, hopefully see Kun Nick at his coffee shop across the way here. But it's closed. He's uh, taking a few days off, uh, according to the lady in the stall next door. But uh, I've come to see the water and hear it, of course, down at my favourite little spot here. And you've got some adventurous guys in the water over the far side here and some young lads up on the bridge casting their lines in. You can see the, the water level has been higher and it's washed the, washed the uh, foliage, the, the grass, the weeds. Well, just down from Nick's coffee shop down there, which is closed today, and the weir, I've come down here to Nam Pong Cafe. Let's see if it's open today. Let's see if the barista's around. Well, I've come here today to Nam Pong Cafe to enjoy uh, a favourite little spot that I like to come and sit and watch the water flowing by and hear the water in the background over there at the weir. Uh, the grass here, when I was uh, here last, was being cut by some labour across the river or this stream of the main river channel. Uh, it was all being cut back because it was being beautified. Uh, there is a bank down here which you can come and float your croton and uh, there's an area up here where you can bring the family and have fun. Uh, I came here before and it was in full swing and the, the, the barista here was a very nice guy and we chatted a little bit and, and it, was, it was good to taste his coffee and indeed I, I, I rated his coffee quite highly and it was very nice. Anyway, the, the, the lady behind the bar, I, I just walked her through uh, how to make an espresso with her glorious machine there and uh, it, was, it was a great learning experience for, for us both really. Anyway, I, I, I've been given very kindly uh, a, a bottle of water by uh, the place here uh, to go along with my coffee. I'm going to go on down the river and show you what I can. See you there. And I look forward to the barista coming back. Well, here they're doing some marvellous shoring up. Uh, they've previously put in the stonework along there and uh, in the background they're preparing more 
rocks uh, to then bring it on further down here because obviously the curve of the of the river the clong that's entering the main river here will just take all the bank away if they don't secure it with rocks well, this is the building site the working site the steel work that's being processed here to help build these frames that put the rocks onto the bank and it's a very familiar spot for many people I believe uh, Bill of uh, Unseen Thailand actually saw his drone go in the water over here uh, he thought it would be a good idea to back up against that tree over over there anyway Bill glad you got your your drone back Oh yes, he's got a fish. How big is it? Oop. Well, this uh, farmer uh, on the river, uh, you know, carefully picking the right bits of uh, the vegetable being grown by the side. It's like a weed. Um, I, I don't know the name of that particular uh, vegetable. It's, you know, it's almost like uh, a spinach, but not. Anyway, uh, he's uh, going to take it up to the market up the road and sell it. But um, very industrious on the water here. The local uh, government offices will put these keep fit areas uh, in public spaces for people to come and use. And indeed, in the evenings, you can see people out exercising on them. So they are, they're not white elephants uh, or blue elephants. They're, they're actually used. They, they, they do get some use. Well, it looks pretty quiet here today. Uh, the pontoons are not flushing water. They've got fish in, albeit that's, there's a couple of dead ones in there. Uh, but uh, the industry that we can see sometimes down here in full flow doesn't seem to be very busy right now and this is the hut uh, the farmers use to keep their fish feed in and you can see they've taken various uh, different bags up onto the pontoons up and around the corner there to feed their fish well this walkway uh, it's a bit rickety but it does the job and it's okay to climb up this embankment from these tanks. They then put them into uh, smaller tanks on the back of trucks and they take them off to market. So uh, let me have a look and see if there's any fish in these. Yeah, there's a few in there. Can't see, see them in this light. Down there you can see the aerators are in full swing bringing lots of oxygen into the water. Guy getting ready for his siesta. He's rigging up his hammock to have a, a nap after lunch. I could think of worse places to have a, a nap after lunch. Sat next to the river, listening to the water being uh, aerated. and Yeah, it might be nice. Let's have a look at these guys here. Well, these are bigger ones. Wow. Well, if I keep this camera here long enough, you'll see some of the fish that are trying to jump up. You do wonder, with the strength of the water, as to whether they actually make it up, but I guess they must do eventually after they've tried hard enough against that flow. Uh, strength in numbers, I guess. Uh, some of them must make it up. Uh, it's getting a bit busy on this bridge. It must be lunchtime. I'm going to go off and have some food for lunch as well. Not sure what I'm going to have today. Maybe some guy yang at the side of the road. Anyway, until next time, take care. See you. Bye-bye.